everybody, it's Miss Nell again. We're here to find out what happened next in our story we were reading. We're reading The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Do you know what happens next? Shall we find out? Let's have a look. But then came the day the whale lost his way. Oh no! These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. Can you count how many people are on all the boats? Should we count together quickly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people. Oh dear, look at the whale. This is the tide slipping away. Are whales supposed to be on the shore or are they supposed to stay in the water? Yeah, that's right. They need to stay in the water. I hope the whale's going to be okay. Let's have a look. Oh no. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick! Off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, said the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Oh, I've got it, she cried, and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. I wonder where the snail is going. Do you think the snail has a plan of how to save the whale? Let's find out. I hope he does. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as suit. There's the teacher say, oh, you mustn't talk. They're coming in from play. Who can tell me what colour is the bell that the teacher's ringing? Is it silver? Is it yellow? Is it orange? Is it red? Yep, that's right. It's a gold bell. And this is a snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. I think the teacher's shocked. The teacher says, look, said the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, oh, there's the snail doing some writing again. Should we read what he says? Save. Save the whale. Save the whale. Oh my word. Is the snail trying to get the children and the teacher's attention? I wonder if they're going to listen to the snail. Let's see. These are the children running from school. Fetching the firemen digging a pool. Did they go get some help? Squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. Oh, look at that, everybody. The children alerted the firemen and they tried to save the whale. Do you know why they're putting water on the snail? I'm oh, not the snail. I mean the whale. I was trying to see if you were listening. Why are they putting water on the whale? Yes, that's right. It's so he doesn't dry out. Because he's supposed to be in the water, isn't he? Oh, I wonder if they're going to get him back in the sea. This is the tide coming into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting hooray. As the whale and the snail travel safely away. Oh my goodness. Oh, did the whale get back into the water, everybody? Yes, he did. That is so good. I wonder where they're going to go next. 
do you know? Back to the dock and the flock on the rock. Who said, house time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery tail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail, and on called the snail, after snail, after snail. So they went back home, and the snail and the whale told their stories of what their journey was like. And now all the other snails are climbing on to the whale's tail. How many snails do you count on the whale's tail? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight snails climbing onto the tail. Beautiful. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. Wow. So do you think all other snails are also going on a journey? I wonder. And who can tell me what time of the day it is? Look at this beautiful sky. What's it telling us? Do you know? Yes, the sea. Sun is setting, so it's going to be sunset. Wow, doesn't that look beautiful? And look, look what's peeking through and getting ready. It's the, it's the moon. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of the snail and the whale. I wonder what journey they are going to get onto next. Where are they going to go? Who are they going to see? Will they see any night animals? What other creatures can you find in the sea? Hmm, have a think. I'm just so glad that the snail was so kind and went to ask for help. Do you ask for help if you need something? Or if someone's in trouble? I'm so glad. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the story. Until next time, bye everybody.